at the every single game, I give it like a day. And I'll be like, we got that W in the bag, bro, again. I want to be like my boy Whitney. I want to change the world and spread the gospel around. We get that like, yeah. VIP? Oh, a lot of things are going to happen tonight. I got to give him a speech. I'm going to give him an award for all the good things we've done for Easy Seals and, and in the community. Hey, one, oh, three. One, two, three. Oh. Kids with disabilities, they have the brightest smiles. They have the brightest spirits. And the thing is, they don't see it as a crutch at all. My parents came over to the U.S. for a better opportunity than what Haiti at the time had. They taught me, look, you got a lot of responsibility, son. You got to decide what are you going to do, how are you going to help. And I have the With Mercy Foundation developed up and running for about three years. And each dollar that comes into the With Mercy Foundation, 100% of it goes straight to the foundation. So we rotate each year. First year, we served autism. And so we partnered up with not only the Easter Seals, but it was bases in Autism Rescue Angels as well. Now this year, we are serving cerebral palsy. Easter Seals is one of the oldest disability organizations in the country, and we're the only area agency that serves people of all ages with any type of disability, and we also serve military families. Easter Seals does a great job providing physical therapy, education, daycare services, camp services, and a plethora of other services. And they really do a great job as far as helping the kids, you know, find confidence within themselves. I love that, and that's part of our core values with the With Mercy Foundation, to really help improve the lives of each individual. They just mean so much as far as being a guiding light for so many people. Disability doesn't discriminate based on race, gender, creed, income. But what is really amazing is and somebody gives you both money and a broader voice, and that's really what Whitney has done. He speaks for the people that we serve, and he uses his celebrity in such a positive way. <laughs> Having somebody with the fame that Whitney has look at you like you're just like any other kid and treat you with respect, I think that gave Alex a boost that no amount of therapy would have given him. To be validated by somebody outside who you have a lot of respect for, just feed your self-esteem. And Whitney gave that gift to Alex. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the third annual Dine With Mercy event. You go right there, man. <laughs> what are your best times with him? Those are all times with him. All times. <laughs> I think the best time was uh, when we were in uh, Easter Seals, and we were just chopping it up, and we was getting in trouble. We start, we live, we work, we give with mercy. Alex Garcia is a one-of-a-kind kid. He's Whitney's buddy, and we want to bring him up here to say a few words. <laughs> Alex, welcome, buddy. I know you want to say a few things to your buddy Whitney. When we're together, we always get in trouble. <laughs> and we get put in time out. <laughs> because with his foundation, kids like me get to go to camp. And I love going to camp because we can do a lot of stuff at camp and we don't get bullied for who we are and we don't like we don't get picked on and we like we're all the same. Nobody makes fun of each other, so there's no such thing as camps. We're all allowed to do the zip line, the go fishing, horseback riding, and lots of more. And with kids with uh, CP, don't don't give up and don't let nothing, don't let nobody bring you down, because you come back from that. It could only make you stronger and keep fighting because it doesn't matter how much pain you're going to be in. Just push through it and don't give up because every kid like me has potential. God does, God does not make mistakes and we are not mistakes. Thank you, Wendy, and thank you, everybody.
kind of messed up in our society right now that we have to hide who in fact we are and become part of the crowd instead of allowing people to accept us. I think I was like in kindergarten or something like that and my mom and my dad are talking like Creole in front of one of my friends, Ashraf. I told him, man, don't speak Creole. She getting mad at me and telling me don't be ashamed of that and Honestly, it's kind of related to children with disabilities and all that. What I'm looking to do is now to segue into helping in Haiti, which is a dream of my mother's. So in Haiti, in relation to disabilities, you know, they kind of cast a lot of like disabled kids into their own corner because they don't have the education to understand. I think I get to curry go roti. Yeah. Make it spicy. Make it spicy. Yeah. Man, can I do the oxtail? Okay. Yeah, no worries. Man, thank you. What do you think Haiti needs to do? If nothing else, it's the education. Because it's one thing to like help them kids, because yeah. I mean, yeah, they need it. But also just the ableism mm -hmm. that's going on. Yeah. So like if people knew where people were coming from, yeah. what things actually meant, do you know what like differently able meant, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah. how people live that, yeah. it'd be it, it'd be great. Exactly. Like... Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, man. It's the expectation versus experience, what you have. You now, people, as soon as you say, tell somebody this person has a disability and all that, they have an expectation as far as what this person is probably going to act like mm -hmm. and how they're going to be. Mm -hmm. They just get a negative connotation in their head uh, versus, you know, when you get a chance to experience. For example, one of my best buddies, <laughs> his name is Alex, and he has cerebral palsy. And yeah, so yeah, he needs assistance to walk and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, like, people with disabilities, they're just like us at the end of the day. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. even matter, man. You know, you can't just get you know a preconceived notion or a negative connotation as far as you know what this person is going to be. Alex, he's the most able person mm. that I know that can you know pretty much conquer anything. The thing is, you don't need to be awkward or be uncomfortable talking to somebody with a disability. Just go up, you know, just talk to them. They're just normal people. We met at Easy Seals and. And all I see is this big guy walking in, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> but then whenever I heard that you were a Texan player, I was like, oh, wait, let me just turn my head around. <laughs> mm, I already had a Texan hat. He signed that hat, and I was really happy to meet him. Like, yeah, how he gives back. I want to become a crazy rapper, and I want to give back to the community. Like, give back to his foundation. Mm -hmm. He wants to use his, his you know, his faith and all that in order to help people. I want to use my faith in order to give people a sense of hope. Understand there's people, there's good people in this world, no matter how much bad stuff is out there, it doesn't matter. There's wonderful people that are there to help and you can lean on those people as well too. And I want people like Alex to be able to lean on me and understand we're gonna come through every single time. We understand everything through, uh, you know, through food. It's kind of like a unspoken language. Tortillas, yes. We're gonna cook some Mexican food up in here. You know what? I'm gonna do a whole chicken. A whole chicken. Special seasoning on it. It's gonna come out real juicy. Really good. Oh, back up left tackle, third string quarterback. Oh, it's time to eat. Sounds like eating season, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's like a buffet. I'll taste your dish. Man, it's like, dang. All right, I understand who you are as a person. We have to really kind of put a cap on our preconceived notions. Good luck. He said good luck. Sorry, Whitney, but I think I'm gonna get the W today. You gonna get the W? Yeah. All right. Look good. Hopefully, it tastes good. That's real good. Mmm. Mm. All right, we wanna try some chicken? What we got? Not bad. Oh, not bad. I will admit defeat. My chicken ain't come out right. It ain't come out good. I lost all the seasoning. Next time, I'll be better. In that case, we ordering pizza. It doesn't matter how many lives you affect. You can affect one life, and that one life can affect 10 others. And it spreads throughout. But no matter what platform you have, it started with you. So I'm just here to help, and that's all I want to do. I don't care if I get a thank you or not. And I just want to make sure people like Alex are getting what they so much deserve within this life and help them progress and have a great life. Yeah.